I believe I'm here today for a specific purpose. There's a reason each of you are in these seats at this particular moment in history. For us to embark on a journey, this begins by us becoming difference maker leaders. Now I know leadership can be hard, challenges that feel insurmountable. How can we retain our talent? We're understaffed but overworked. How can we re-engage our workforce at a deeper level? And these are all real challenges. However, what if you had a framework that you could use to make your life easier as leaders? And if you lend me your listening ear and truly act on the information that I share today, it can change the rest of your life. So look, I won't really believe you're ready to get started until you lean back on the count of three in your chairs and say, yeah. One, two, three, yeah. yeah. Austin Franklin is a globally renowned keynote speaker, author, and leadership expert. There are three pillars that we should incorporate in order to make the biggest difference, not just in our professional lives, but in our personal lives as well. He started his first company when he was only 20 years old, with a mission to uplift minds across the world. You see, when we make a meaningful difference, lives become inspired, situations positively shift, and desired outcomes are often achieved because of our presence. Today, Austin is trusted by many Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies, guiding their top performers to be I'm ultimately here today to explore the profound impact of becoming a Difference Maker leader. What audiences are usually most surprised by is I was the least likely person to become this kind of leader. See, I was born prematurely, three pounds, six ounces, I was tiny. And as a result, I developed some learning challenges. I had a teacher in high school who said she didn't think I could graduate from that high school. That was her belief based upon my ability. But my parents were unique. They would speak words of affirmation over my life. And they told me ever since I was a little boy, Austin, you are born to do great things. They told me it so much, I too started to believe I was born to do great things. It made me push myself in areas where I was weak and I kept pushing myself to do great things. I challenge each of you to become difference maker leaders. Because when we're that kind of leader, our teams feel valued, they feel seen, they feel connected to one another. When we're that kind of leader, retention is improved, engagement is elevated, and our teams want to give their best. And every one of us in this room has the potential to be that kind of leader. Here's what I've learned. It boils down to how leaders create a vision for their team, connect with them on a personal level, and how they show up with consistency that makes a team feel like they can overcome any obstacle. And when leaders are equipped with the right skill set, the potential of their teams becomes endless. Far and away without equal, the most inspirational speaker I've heard. Of. Amazing. Vision is the internal imagination of seeing yourself, seeing your team in a position you don't currently yet hold. So uplifting. Very encouraging. I loved his energy level. Vision is the key that births our dreams, births our greatness. So the question becomes, how can I as a leader identify not just the vision, but a robust vision? I want you to remember this. Never miss a nugget of wisdom because the messenger doesn't fit your description. Because the reality is there's insight, wisdom, and perspective that can be helpful from our Gen Z workforce, frontline workers, upper leadership, middle management, if everybody's brought to the table. Everyone on your team can add to the flavor of the conversation. Really captivated the audience. I felt like I was at church. And there were times where I'm like, amen. How to describe what we do, not who we are. Let's be known for helping people see optimism in the face of adversity. Elevating somebody as an employee, helping people reach their optimal potential. That's a difference maker leader. So let us never let our titles define us. Always let our value define us. Once again, my name is Austin J. Franklin, and I value and I believe in you. God bless you.